Hi, I'm Jane Play, creating free video content, teaching people how to trade Betfair absolutely for free. If you're enjoying my videos or you're learning from them, please support me back by hitting the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the like button on any videos you watch. This will enable me to create more free content for you so you can learn to become a better trader. Best of luck in the markets. So I'm Jane Play and the secret to my success is the race timer. I use two versions of the race timer. Race timer two, which gives you six timers. You can see this is how I have it set up here, the scalping. I have visual and audio alerts set up. Race timer one is set up basically for things like back to lays where I need to know where the race is going to go. That has four timers. They both have their individual settings. We'll close race timer one down. Let's look at race timer two. You can see you set up where you want your alarm so imagine the race timer up here you can set up what percentage of the race you want it to go off for you can set up different colors whatever sound files you want and on top of that you can set up your race distances the defaults that we use are the average times for a race obviously they vary depending on ground conditions quality of horses we're going to work on that and be able to allow people to have profiles seen but what you're about to see is how the race timer has helped me just within the last 24 hours that's it just the last 24 hours it helps me every day to become profitable if you want to copy the race timer drop me an email here's my email address here and i will look or listen to how you are doing your trading work out if i think it's going to help you and if I, it does i will allow you to get a copy and that's it it's invite only but get in touch let me know and we'll go from there all the best in the markets enjoy the videos that's it for this follow vickers bet on facebook restricted novice stakes and market they go. market and, uh, in play fairly well away sabienio probably leads early Closely followed now by All Go, Miss Metropolitan in the black and white hoop sleeves. Then No More Tears. Oggly Doggly. And Caesar Nero. And Susan B. Quick is the back marker as they cover the first furlong or so and run down the hill towards Wilson Avenue. And Sabiño is racing very freely indeed in the hands of George Bash with all go on the inside. Out wider is No More Tears, Blue Sleeves, Caesar mm -hmm. Nero also a bit keen, followed by Miss Metropolitan and Susan B. Quick. Heading slightly uphill now towards this left-hand turn. And it's Sabiño that continues to lead the way and has gone a couple of lengths clear of no more tears into second. Then in third is All Go, three lengths away. Caesar Nero, they're strung out now. Miss Metropolitan and Susan B. Quick as they run on the hill inside the final three furlongs. Sabi Inyo, no more tears. And coming between them is All Go with a promising run, followed four or five lengths away by Caesar Nero, Miss Metropolitan, and Susan B. Quick. But Sabi Inyo doing it readily. I'm out of here, man. And now David Probert is hard at work on All Go in second place, followed by No More Tears as they race on towards the the final furlong sabi Inyo out clear of all go i'm out of here man so i took a loss there it was a short race so i had to deal with it quickly <laughs> Sucker. took three pounds 61 you see it flashing up to about 13 pound it was the wise thing to do granted i got, got could have got away with it market suspended but we're not in this game to gamble irresistible in the light blue and then thanks Monica and the slow starter making music in yellow colours under Jamie Spencer is the early bat marker. They've covered the first three furlongs now. And up front the lead is with Fantasy Mac and William Buick out in front in the tartan colours, pink armlets and cap. Yummy Licious, the main market rival up on the outside, the yellow and black colours. Racing out wider then in the blue. And his kin Rara just in behind in the purple is Thunder Queen under Ross Orion. Back towards the inside for Indy Moon in the black and white colours. Trapped through by the uh, stars on the sleeves. That's thanks Monica. And then the light blue irresistible is up on the outside, the grey, and still last is making music. Beginning the turn then, out of the back straight on the run back towards home, and inside wow. the final five furlongs they go. 
Fantasy by a neck. Yummy licious. Quick to attend on the outside. And the line of three in behind. Reading inside out. Indy Moon is right there with Thunder Queen. And to the outside, that's Kinrara, the yellow star on the cat. Further back, Irresistible. Just shaken up his thanks, Monica, the back marker. But in touch is making music. They're heading towards the centre of the course once more. Watch and the down to the final now. three furlongs they go. Fantasy Max still just about delicious. I'm out of here, man. Sides. Then comes Kinrara. Ridden along back in fourth. Making music is just side her way through the field. Damn it. Fifth place That's a bit gun. We didn't player. get close Heading to it. 50 play I could have had. And Fantasy Mac having their own private battle up front. I'm out of here, man. Under pressure, Thunder Queen making music now. Ridden has not picked up as they head down for the final furlong. And it's Yummy Licious in front. <laughs> Sucker. Too late now. Two and a half lengths to Fantasy Mac in second place. And then behind those, Thunder Queen. But Yummy Licious is out clear and will break the maiden. It's a double on the day for Benoit de la Sayette. Yummy Licious wins for the Gosden. Second place in the end. Going to the running market suspended and came fantasy. So, this is a shorter race you've just witnessed there. Um, using the race timer to uh, work out when to place the bets and when not to. We don't want to get caught out in the business end. You might have noticed the race timer wasn't accurate, and that is because uh, the ground conditions are really fast at the moment with all the nice weather we're having. You can adjust them if you want. We are going to uh, create a profile so you can just pick nice weather or weather and, and uh, load up that profile for the day to, to adjust the race times in the future. But you can adjust them if you want. Um, if not, just take it into consideration if you're using the race time with that. Obviously, these 2 minutes 20 is the average time it takes for a 1 mile, 2 furlong or a 10 furlong race to run. So obviously, if it's like uh, really heavy conditions, Races are going to run slower in winter, and if it's like really fast ground, they're going to run quicker. So you have to bear that in mind. Um, but it's the most accurate way to work out how or how and when to get your bets through. And um, you know, if you're looking at a loss, whether to just close it off to be on the safe side right now, or where there's enough time for the price to come back. Um, use it wisely. It's a secret to my success. If you need a copy, drop me an email, and we'll go from there. Um, it's an invite only, so you have to request it. Market movers handicap. Seven left to run, and up front it's May Punch and Duran Fenderman who leads. Up on the outside in the cheek pieces, that is McQueen. Third on the inside in the dark blue, Power Generation. Then in the light blue colours uh, oh, after this is You up. Are Everything. Tracking this one in the purple and, and right. yellow is Clip Clop. On the outside and right. in the red and yellow stripes yeah. we have Twilight Tone. Making ground on the wide Look at the race time, how much time we got? Yeah. A little bit, but not a lot. Bear in mind this is a short, short race, so we've got to be blinking careful here. Then behind this one is Sean. Going for more tick because I know it's more dangerous now. And the favorite Rodolfo. So let's see what happens. They've got three furlongs left to run. I'm out of here, man. Three furlongs. Colors, it's May Punch on the inside. The red colors the last time we get a trade through. Under pressure on the inside. And now we just need to close off as much as possible. I'm out of here, man. Match that pound and we're done. And now look, danger zone. Do not trade. Too dangerous. Don't throw your money away. Ow, ow, ow. But forced to run wide. Now, I don't actually suggest that you trade these short races if you're not a pro, but you get the idea. If you do it with a two-mile race, um, you can make money. Um, it'll be a little bit slower, which will mean it'll make it a little bit safer. I go for bigger profits if I'm taking more risk. Always make sure Market suspended. Um, your reward outweighs your risk in the long term. That's how you make profit. If you do it the other way around, you might make lots of little profits, but you'll have lots of big losses. So I get the occasional big loss, granted, but I make sure all my little profits add up to much more than what my losses do. If that makes sense. It's the way to do it. And Harbour Project. So racing towards the highest point on the race course. A, a lot of money on the backside coming in here. Yeah, look, five minutes there. Got there. Got there. Got that runner. Length and a half to Juno esque. But the liquidity is not that high. Weird. Mitigated risk and harbour project. Now Someone just trying to back right at the top three. This undulating 
middle distance test and keeper trying to lay one of the other runners i haven't got in shot maybe and that's for a saver uh, successful over this course followed I mean, by it's not a huge state but it is a bit kind of different to what Leroy else you're seeing you know risk and finally uh, but a project they're about to cross well it's not huge amounts but they were it's just the strange keeper that you see them all the inside, at the same time it just might be a coincidence i don't know but closer under trevor unusual kieran schumark so we're using the race timer can we get in here safely we need to be in and out quick because this horse could win the race don't forget we don't want to get screwed so we've got to get matched quick using that race timer held up by molly in out, in out, in out. Watch the race timer. About to race inside. Probably go for again. Now the risk is higher, so we want a high reward. High risk, high reward. Leroy, Leroy, being angled out now for a possible run down the outside. Mitigated risk is sticking on for pressure. Keeper comes under pressure, and now the mare's left in front. Leads the way down the hill towards the final. Money out quick. Now it's far too dangerous to get close. Just close up for whatever we can get. Chased by Leroy, Leroy. Harbour. Leroy, just oh, coming a little bit. As they race on towards the final furlong Not today, so we're going to be stuck with the minimum. US, I'll hold the price there just in case. Come on, you man. Of Leroy, Leroy Four seventy-eight. The Move on. Then Harbour Project and racing up towards. You can see in that time in the market. <laughs> Sucker. You know, uh, I took a few extra ticks because it's too dangerous. Uh, market you know, suspended. Always. If you're taking a bit of extra danger, make sure you've got a bit of extra reward so it pays for it in the long run. But um, we used the race time to get it right. I couldn't go in again. Um, well, I could have done, and I could have made more money, but it wouldn't have been safe to do that over the long term. So you have to use your knowledge um, on when the race is likely going to business end and the horse is going to hit the front, and the general public that are betting are going to sort of have a better idea who the winner is and the price is going to come in. They get it wrong all the time, but the closer you are to that finish line, end of that race time up, then the more dangerous it gets. And... If you've ever traded pre-race, um, the race time is a bit like your pre-race knowledge. You don't trade 20 minutes out pre-race. So that's like why I have that sectioned off, uh, unless you've got a plan. Because in this case, the horses are pack animals. They're going to get into their natural position. I mean, if you know that the horse is going to be a front runner, you might be able to make money in that section. But you don't certainly don't want to lay a front runner uh, by accident. So you wait till the horse is settled down. Then you've got your period building up. Then you've got your period, a bit like your last three minutes of scalping before a race. Uh, and then the last part, our I section off, is the equivalent to a pre-race trader going in play. It's very similar, it's quicker markets, um, but uh, it's what suits me. That's how I do it. Stand by. One mile four furlong, Wolverhampton, 6.20. Market, market in play. Liquidity, okay, but not great. It is a Tuesday, so is it Tuesday or Monday? Yeah, Tuesday today. Um, wait for the races to settle down. You see we've got that red section as because they're finding their positions. Markets are flying around. Let's let them settle down. See the timer? Pretty much right, isn't it? Still over a market's starting to, to settle down. And it's Whitcliffe, and in the bit safer to trade now. One of the oldest set of racing colours in the world. Up on the now, we've only got a certain amount of time we've got pure rain and Holly to be safe. I'm, I would love to go in above that 500, and especially, well, it's the same money, isn't it? They're trying to get it out. They're trying to get it matched, sorry. Um, but it's just too much money to lace up my liking. I don't like it. I, it's so tempting, but you can see, like, it's backing up, and it's just my luck that it will go wrong, and that person will either cancel it off. Oh, that's what it's then in the orange colours, the favourite Captain Kane. I waited for most of it to get matched. I've missed the opportunity there, but you know, you should always build your guards in this game. Watch the race timer. We know that 200 quid's real. That person, whoever that is, wants that matched. But if the price goes through us and that starts going, then we need to get out the last few quid against it if we're not getting matched. Fourth in the cross belts with the red so let's get That's ready. Perky girl. Tracking this towards the outside is Mr. Shadow. On the inside, we've got Come on. Mutara. 200 still there. Come. We know it's real money because that person has already had three, four hundred quid matched. The there you go. Two pound. Thank you, whoever you were. Thank you. We like you. And there's still a bit of trading time, but as it's getting later on and it is hot, there you see they're definitely trying to get some lay money on. 
Then to the cross belts, we've got Berkey Girl, Callum Hutchinson, fourth on the fifth. Come out here, man. To get in front. Then trying to get into it is who's the race timer. We've got to get through safely. Two and a half left to run, and it's still Whitcliffe on the inside, on the outside. Purple. Now, I think Ray, now because there's a bit more risk, we want a bit more rewards. We're going to go for eight six if we get matched, and we're out. And that's it. Come out here, man. Two hundred's gone as well. So that's it. Look at the race timer. We're getting to the danger side. Time of the race. If you were a pre-race trader, this is like going and playing. Unfortunately for that person laying off that money, it looks like that horse is going to win. And that is why the race timer is so helpful, you see. Because if we'd got our bets at the wrong time, obviously we knew someone was having a bet that just wanted to play that horse. I feel sorry for that person because you really helped me out. Market uh, suspended. Making a few quid, but and unfortunately you've lost loads. Unless you had an exit that I didn't notice in the market, you might have done. Um, but yeah feel sorry for that person because they really really helped me but also so did the race time we've got trade at the wrong time before that horse came in and won we got a money free bear in mind i lay pretty much for a living um i open my positions with a lay i close with a back bet um there's no reason why you can't do it the other way around but that is my forte and i do it for lots of different reasons i'm not going to get into now but it is what i'm good at i recommend you do what you're good at but yeah there you go race timer has just helped us make six pound fifteen rather than having like a fifty sixty pound loss or in the black and yellow and then letter of the law in white and black colors bb's been held up yellow at this stage as they continue their journey down the far side the seven runners about to make make the turn so she's the danger in front now has come through on the inside the light green jacket to lead in the hands of lewis edmonds goes on by a half length to bond boy racing in second place ruby jewels white and red colors is racing in third canterbury bell is in fourth place at this stage then comes right. Death we're not even halfway through the race yet Wheeler so the we want to get our money out and we're out with the yellow seams and just about how did i hang on to that because i knew there was loads of time left you might be in front, or she might be in front, but it's so far to go. It's trying to go there. This is where you can watch in the race as well as the timer. Get this money through quick as we can. We want it out as well, don't forget. As Ruby Jones, the race man. timer. Comes Guilan, who's come under a drive. Come on, and a rest. Half to go then. She's the danger. Still out in front. To the outside is Bond Boy. Now can't. So we've got a bit of way to go. Don't to forget. Come on, smash it. Come on, man. man. And we're out now. She's the danger. Can come back and win if it wants. You can see we weren't in the danger zone yet. This is the dangerous part of the race. What the part you don't want to be involved in. She's the danger though. Is the danger in second? But Canterbury Bell at the moment. Is the danger going to win? Front. Guilan on the far side is sticking on strongly too. Not on this occasion, but you can see, like, by having the race timer, you can look, 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 let's Market finish. Market suspended. Finish. You can see how much time is left in the race. Is the price likely to come back? Is it not? It saves me from um, big losses by, uh, basically, if I follow the rules, um, I might get some small losses, but at least they don't turn into, like, huge losses because I managed to cut that out. And also, when I get a small loss, it also gives me the information I need to know whether it's worth hanging on to the trade, whether it's likely to come back a little bit longer. So, race timer. Has moved into an early advantage from Patient Dream in second place as they clear the first flight. Patient Dream was slightly awkward over the first. Very, very keen, fast deal out wide under a strong early hold under James Rowbottom going wider <clears> than the field. Then in behind is Retrospect in the blue with the red disc. Up so we've got a race at Huntington. Followed by right turn, then comes Vina Bay. I show you. The National Oggly Doggly. And at the back of the field, you can see today's date <coughs> is a Tuesday, the 17th of train, May, first time, 2022. Fights down this part of the course, they're going very steady. <coughs> We're using the race timer. Is in front. Also, I'm not in a rush to get involved yet. I'm waiting for the market to settle clear. down. You can the see that I cancel that bit out the there using the race timer. To tell me not to trade because that's unless I have a pre race plan, that is a dangerous time to trade, just like the end of the races. I'm just waiting for things to settle down. There is a lot of market movement. Obviously, we're looking at obviously the race timer for where we are. Is it safe to trade or not? Liquidity coming through the market. Is it safe to trade? Is the market moving up and down in a predictable way that we can just slip a few ticks through, make a profit, and bugger off essentially? 
And, uh, so that's what I'm looking for. About six lengths clear now. It's right turn. And if we do put money through, is there enough money on the lay side beneath us to protect us? So if we get it wrong, we can get out against that money. That's also important too. So if I was to go in here at, I don't know, 6.0, you can see, well, there is now, okay, 5.5, you can see there's no money beneath me to protect my investment continues on the inside of runners we're so we're looking for protection wide, we're looking for safety we're looking for all the signs to be right that we can just get some money through so obviously we're still going to get hurt at some times but in my opinion Prevention is better than cure. Now, I was about to go in there, but as the price has gone out so much. in behind that is a retrospect on the outside of Awesome Do. Okay, I'm going to go for a few more ticks. I don't think I'm going to change that. And I'm going to drop that down because four is available with hardly any money and it's a better value price. Must be 15 lengths between first and last, possibly even 20 now. Fast Deal still has the advantage from Patient Dream. Now, Awesome Dude is making up a little bit of ground on the inside and is now sharing second position they're in front of retrospect in fourth position grand revival can't go on now right now we're getting a little bit later on and we've got a short price favorite there's a bit of risk because if something happens to that runner we could get in trouble so we want to match both sides but very quickly we've got matched on that one i've now got to concentrate on this one over here get that money out and we're job done now let's just green off for as much as we can we've still got a bit of time on the race time actually respond for pressure then comes let's see if we can get another 10 Six. Right turn and then comes Vina Bay. So heading towards the Looking straight, for a good place to go in. Look at the, the jump and awesome favorite. Dude. It's too short a price. Is it worth going against it? Patient, patient, I'm out of here, man. Because if we go big price, is retrospect. if we go big price and that falls gets pulled up, turn, we could accidentally lay the, awesome the winner at a huge <laughs> price. Sucker. Which we won't want to do, and if you just heard that sucker noise, that tells me now the race is pretty much over. People are going for the finish line. In this occasion, you saw there was a short price favourite. Um, I'm sure, was it actually pre-race? We can tell by looking at this. Not that short. It wasn't short at all. It just was a really good front runner. Now, I wasn't prepared for a front runner in this race. I didn't do any Market research. suspended. But you can see how we maximised our profits by looking at liquidity making sure that we're in the right time, the safe zone of the race to trade before we get to the business end. And then we also uh, made sure that we were keeping an eye on that short price favourite in case something happened to it and it didn't win. So, yeah, race timer yet again makes more money, £5.63. We'll do that again another five. No back, moment in this market. The, uh, four lengths separating the five runners as they continue Quite a long run, as I mentioned, towards the next flights. So Brooklyn Bell still leading. The, the next flight, well so over safely once again. And uh, it's Brooklyn Bell with Lady Reset up on the inside. Then Dylan Seesong on the inside of Ince. And then at the back is Little Gesture, still ridden with restraint at the back of the five runners. Heading towards the final flight down the back straight. And as they clear it, Lady Reset didn't get that high there, but didn't lose much momentum. But was the better jump was by Brooklyn Bell. Then in third place, Come is Instant Sea Song is next, followed by Little Gesture. Still only around four Thank lengths separated. Watching the race time, Brooklyn Bell now has Lady Reset. Watching the prices, watching the race, watching everything. Watching the money coming in. Look at the money. Oh. And they're tightly packed. Is now taking over Lady Reset from Brooklyn Bell. Now Ince is in behind that really slightly can. wider. Then comes the ridden along Dylan C. How quickly can I keep? How many times can I press this button? Wider. Lady Reset led. Ince trying to oh. close the gap. Brooklyn keep Bell pressing. still in between and being ridden along. Then in behind them is Little Gesture ridden along Dylan C. Song. Before we get to Lady the danger Reset zone. Up by the rail, but Ince oh, we're in to the Bell danger still zone. Is still battling away, followed by Little Gesture. And Dylan C. Song. Still only three lengths would separate the five runners heading down the home straight towards the final two flights. Oh, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> yes, the we can. can we get Chase 15? Little gesture in second place. Then in Come on, little Bell gesture, just get C. down there. Right, I don't then. think we will. Let's make sure we get 14 at least. Reset out in front. Good Big down, see you later. Thank you very much, Mr. Race Timer. In Brooklyn Bell and Dylan C. Song, the final flight. Now, good leap by Lady. I don't care who wins. I just managed to get a load of clicks through, and most of that was done on just four ticks as well. I don't know who's going to win this race. Little gesture might actually win. Is it going to win? Is it not? Is it is? I don't know. I Market don't care. suspended. It's a photo, so it was close. Put it that way. Um, I think 
Well, we'll wait on the judge there. Lady Reset looked like she had it in the bag approaching the last. She didn't jump the last very well on that she evidence. Had it. It is a just an opinion of the guess. Can we get 20? On that evidence, she might. Bit of photo yes. money there, like oh, a bit of photo, yeah. didn't you? It's she definitely hung well on. Bloody hell, people are blind, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, every... People are blind. But anyway, so yeah, got a bit of money on the photo there, but uh, for 10 ticks. But um, yeah, the race timer, do you know what I mean? I Most of that money made. Market of, suspended. Late now. I'll get the minimum now, 422, but um, I don't know who won it, obviously. Um, but. What was I going to say? Yeah, I was going to say that most of that money was made of just lots of four ticks. So often I'll go for bigger tick values and that's how I make more money. But I think like a tenner of that was just made of lots of just literally all I was doing was clicking the money as it was getting matched both sides of the book and just putting lots of £2.50s through, getting a match quick. And the race time was telling me it was safe to do so because I knew when the business end was coming up. And then you can see it was a very close race at the end. There's no reason why a little gesture couldn't have won that race. Um, you know, it wouldn't have taken much, would it? It was a photo finish, as you can see. And um, race time has just made me get my money through at the safe time. And it pays for itself, like, nearly in every race. If you want a copy, invite only, drop me an email, and I'll decide whether you're worthy. Thanks, good, David. Good evening, everyone. Nearly set here. Flag up for race three on the car. That's it. Take down. Off and racing. Sent on their way for the... Market the in play. Chase, the extended two-mile trip in front of the field on the approach to the first of 11 Wait. fences they'll be taking. So we're waiting for the markets to settle down because I haven't done any research and there's some totally cold trading. And I don't want to lay this horse here and then it turns out to be a front runner, which it looks like it might do. And I end up at a big loss, match if I've gone at fours. So I don't know what's going on. Ogly, ogly. We do not trade at the beginning of the market unless we've got a pre-race plan. End of story. So we're looking at the race time. We're getting into that zone now where they're now calmed down. Whether you can get money through or not, the green zone is basically the quiet zone. Um, obviously, it varies from race to race. There is quite a lot of movement. This is a bit of a two-horse race, to be fair. Um, but yeah, we've got to wait for the right moment. So we're using the race time to do that. And again, we don't want to be in the business end because that is where if we are trading the wrong horse, that is where that horse could win the race, which means it's going to trade down to 101, race finishes. And imagine you, you sell tomatoes for a living, all your stock's gone off, basically. So timing is key. Round between fences two and three. As they make their so now we're looking at this race. Let's settle down a little bit. It's still quite crazy, though. Occasion. With a full but circuit to cover, we've got a short price favourite, and we've got to also turner. consider the short price favourite is controlling a lot of the market. Out in front here, I ain't going to go in at this price, and I ain't going to go in at this price. Behind, so so for me, it's a waiting game right now. Morgan Stern, you have to know when to sit on your hands. You can't sit on your hands and do this game. The two shades of blue, Farrow, I haven't got my hands well around the on the keyboard. I use the keyboard for the short keys, and I haven't got my hands either on the mouse. A couple of lengths adrift to find Harry Hazard. In the hands Coming of back in Davis, now. Also being encouraged to keep Farrow. tabs on the leading trio as they make the right-handed turn away to the back straight. And we get some ticks out of Farrow. Now Farrow's come down straight. quite a lot in price. And so five fences I, in the back, the second of which is a water jump. They're now coming to fence number five. A deer! Farrow slightly awkward in second. And again, Morgan Stern coming under more Six significant pressure Farrow. back it's in sixes, third place. That'll be nice. Mark Black quickly takes the water with a two or three length lead. Maybe not. Farrow in Look. second. Morgan Stern again two lengths behind and certainly under a stronger drive harry hazard but i'm not moving my money no chance no more than five lengths off the leader you can see this is turning a one horse race now continues to bowl along up and over in advance of farrow Wait i'm quite happy to hang on a minute but you've got to bear in mind if that favorite falls his riding fee here <coughs> gets pulled up jockey falls off the saddle picks up again with a spring hill something weird happens whatever into the lead here has this price in advance of farrow Harry Hazard in and this price are going to come third, crashing in. So you've always got to be ready to get rid of the along bet. the back straight, making their journey towards the exit of the far side. A long right-hand run. Now I'm going for 10 home, ticks. Still two fences to take up the home straight, but Mortlach here has got three lengths in now hand. Now I'm going for 15 ticks. Certainly emerging 
as the main danger. The pair in turn have put distance I'm out of here, man. And yeah, Harry has someone's put money in front of me, out. so if uh, I want to still in, I'm going to have to go in there. Trying to rally again as they swing Quite back simply. towards home. Making their journey back towards the home straight. Two fences left to take then. Mortland <laughs> still very strongly up top. To supplement the Warwick victory. Is still clear by three and a half. Over Farrow now, who is under pressure by Craig Nickel in second. Back in third place is Morgan Stern. Harry has a dropping away. We're in that red zone. So we're Too late to trade now. The, the only thing why I can up get matched in advance, Mortlack still has a healthy this is the favourite fools. The race time is telling me do not trade. Because, yeah, we could go in, we could lay this at 100 to 1, but I'll tell you, 100 times that horse will fall. Do not do it. The race. Afternoon, towing the field along. The so I'm using the race time out. I know Mulberry Hill's in front, but it isn't miles in front. So I think that's a really valued prize. You can see only 11 quid's been matched at the price I'm offering. And the other 22, nothing is yet. No Using the race time, we're not even halfway through the race, so you look where the SP judge. was up here, Circuit I think it didn't really deserve to come into that price. I'm trying Hanley to take Hanley. value by using the race time. Out in front, with the lead back in by Mulberry Hill over that flight, certainly more fluent the horse in second. Puffin Bay back in third place, with still towards now, the Now, we're looking at the race time, I still think this is good value down there. Ever I'm out of here, man. Travelling with plenty of enthusiasm, true romance to the outside as they towards the... Final flight of hurdles over on the back straight. Albert Van Ornum. I still think there's a lot of time to get that money in, but I don't like all that grand coming in there. Do you see that? Making their journey towards the exit so, of the back straight. Let's get that money out quick. Right-handed back towards the third from home, taken on the side of the course. Come on, hurry up. And we're out. Tom Scudamore still out in front with a the grands. So grands got in the price to go out, but I wasn't to know what was going to happen. I'm not. Uh, I'm out of here, man. No, I don't see in the future. All I'm doing is. Uh, doing the her, best of what I see. Followed through by Doros Piers, who's just being squeezed along for the first time as they take the third from home. True Romance is still up there on the wide outside. The grey is almost making it a line of three now. <laughs> they begin to swing back towards the home straight. So working their way back towards home, towards the final half mile and towards the final two flights of hurdles. Up top, yeah, the marathon is trying to skip away. So that's done. Let's cancel that off with the X button. See if we can get that down to 350 would be nice. Yep. Still We're done. Progress. Harry a few pence elsewhere, but it was the wise thing to do. Use the race timer to make money in a safe manner we're not trading now it's too dangerous we do not trade the business end of the race unless you want to be a gambler is Ken Coyne's Lee Roach alongside the Hayes they're followed around the turn by Silken Ladder beginning to close Gary Carroll just behind them in Chiquin Star and the black and pink Wayne Lorden alongside Sistine Madonna trying to improve for Declan McDonough as they head on up the straight nearing the three furlong poles. I'm out of here, Elmo man. Fire still in front. Pink Fire Lily has come under pressure. Bivea, Silken Ladder makes good headway towards the outside. Tracked by El Val. Sistine Madonna looking for a run towards the outside. Dane I'm out of here, man. A run we with the leaders, now. but Elmo's Fire leads. Tackled now by <laughs> Silken Ladder. They go on to the Open Star in third. Then Sistine Madonna. Dane race Fetter timer. The Thank you, race timer. That was dangerous. Pole. Elmo's Fire on the rail. Christ the Louis. We're going to get the winner as well, I the lead. From Elmo's fire on the, the race timer. Wow, that was dodgy. What a dodgy race. I nearly Market made a big mistake. Suspended. Nearly cogs it up. But thank you to the race timer for not only making me a profit, but saving my bloody skin yet again. The jump and the fourth is an open ditch with Gouet de Bruyere still a half-length leader. Out in front, in the hands of Toby Wynn, from in second spot, Get the Pot, who continues to shadow, has always been snapping at the leader's heels. Zuckerberg and Monica of the Grange are next in third and fourth, as they take the first over on the far side. Next in the pack is Get a Man, with old Harry Rocks now starting to drop back through them as they rise. I don't for, the for one second think I believe that odds on is going to win. I don't know if it's going to win or not. Right All I want Harry to do is get money through the book, whether it wins or loses. Pressure. On the approach towards the 11th on. fence in the contest. Gouet de Bruyere matched. picking up with a length I'm out of here, man. Over the white sleeve jacket of Get a Pot. Get the Pot still a length in advance of Monarch of the Grange. Zuckerberg is still stalking in fourth place in against the fence. They rise once again. Is about a length and a half in advance of Get a Man. A gap then still of four or five away to Old Harry Rocks and Leigh Fremantle who have both got work on their hooves as they meet the final fence 
over on the back straight. Gueda Bruer on, still there, with a half-length advantage. It's been a very similar margin of lead throughout, but they are now all starting to row away in behind with Zuckerberg being produced throughout the running I'm race. Here, man. Uh, come with an effort now. In behind them, pressure being applied to get the pot in third place. Get a man has had a few stoppy leaps along the way, but is sticking on in there. Is in fourth position in the check jacket of pink and green, and the four now are starting to put distance between themselves and Monarch of the Grange. Old Harry Ross <laughs> lately to tail off at the back end of the field. So they're heading back towards home in the Racing TV Handicap Chase. Two fences left to take here. Gouet de Bruyere has got challenges. has got to fend them all off. Away to the left, Zuckerberg in the yellow and blue. Away to the right, Get the Pot is now trying to come with another thrust. Back in fourth place is the check jacket of Getter Man as they work their way down towards the 15th and final fence. And still, oh, Gouet de Bruyere, very game up top, is still over a length to the good. Get the Pot, though, now is rallying and coming level as they head off up the run in. Go on, the get the Pot! Run. It's Get the Pot now, who's beginning to assert in the hands of Keelan Woods. So, this is my results for the day uh, where I've showcased the race timer and how it's helped me um, you can see that I do think I don't get everything perfect I actually if we go back to the beginning of the day I actually started off with a loss to so the um, I did have another loss of the day 17 pound 90 is part of the game and that was actually two losses because I actually lost money in the race, then lost money on a photo as well. Don't think that was on this video. Um, but I want to be honest, look, I don't make millions of pounds trading Betfair. It's £139.62 for this day that you just witnessed part of the trades for. That's what I do. I like to help people. Um, if you could help me back, if you've had any kind of feelings with me whatsoever, maybe by email, telephone call, forum chat whatever please could you be honest and leave a comment below and tell other people what you think of me i do my best to help people so if it's a bad comment i'll do my best to put it right if it's a good comment i thank you very much um but i'm just sick and tired of all the con artists out there that like charge people lots of money for false services and all that kind of bollocks uh, you know, please say what you think. Just say what you think below, please. It would mean a lot. Thank you. Introducing Geeks Toy Trading Software, the fastest, most customizable, and most popular software for betting and trading on Betfair and BetDAC. Designed by professional traders for you. Key features include unlimited desktop settings and the ability to create custom profiles to suit every user's needs. Unbeatable speed, real-time prices and one-click betting. Unique management of multiple markets. You can bet or trade on multiple sporting events simultaneously. Support for eight languages. Context-driven help on every window. Dutching and bookmaking. Training mode. Advanced charting. Enhanced navigation. Support for Betfair coupons. Stop loss and more. Geek's Toy. Possibly the best Betfair and BetDAC trading software in the world.